Hello there, this is Dennis again. Glad to have you back, Pickers. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little something that may help you understand something that sounds confusing when you hear about a 251 progression. What that really means, we're going to talk about G, which is a key that's easy to start with. Uh, the second degree of G is A, so the two chord in this situation will be A minor. The fifth degree, G, A, B, C, D, is D, or D7. Now that one is usually a seventh because it leads back to the G. So what they're talking about is the rushes ago. So I'm going to show you something that goes over A minor D7 to G, A minor D7 to G, is A minor diminished B minor E7 A minor D7 G. So what I'm going to do is start with the A minor, play the inside uh, three strings, second, third, and fourth on uh, fifth, fifth, and seven. Okay. Okay, drop down on the fourth string to the fifth fret, just as a leading note to this figure. Those are both in the, in the uh, fourth fret on the second string and fourth string. So. Now what is that? That's going to be an A minor to a D7, but we're altering that note. That's in jazz, they call it an altered note. So I've got the third of the D and the flat nine, so what this ends up being is then to the G, and that's going to be second, third, and fourth on three, four, and five, then drop that to fourth, and add the little finger on the fifth fret, on the first string. So all in all, we got and then drop it back to the third fret. So. Then we go up. Done this earlier in a different video about a diminished lick, but what you'd have A minor again, then go with the uh, fourth string up one more fret to eight. Then go to the third string and do six, nine. So we've got eight, six, nine. And then the B minor, that's going to be seven, seven, and nine. And we do just like the first thing we did. Okay, drop that seventh fret, then down to the six on the fourth and third string. Oh, excuse me, the fourth and second string. Then back where we started. So what that gives you is So I'm gonna try to do the whole thing for you now. So on the second, second time, you go, you don't do that little drop in the high note, you just strum that G again. So anyway, I hope you like that. It's a little short lesson on how to hear the 2-4, excuse me, the 2-5-1 uh, progression. And you'll see that listed a lot of times. If you ever see something saying altered chord, uh, do this little position, it's like if it's D alter, you come up, one fret, do those two, E altered. And so you just think of it that way. Use this, let this be the third of the chord, like F, that would be F altered. And always lead to that chord. So anyway, I hope that, that works out for you. Let me know if you have any questions and leave that in the comment. And please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.